so today I'm talking about a P2254 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P2254 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor negative current control circuit open bank two sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically this is what's called O2 sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which uses the information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P2254 code, the computer's seen a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank two sensor 102 sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. So if you Google like your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, since there is differences between engines and you locate the number one cylinder, that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2254 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank two sensor 102 sensor that has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And when you get this P2254 code, the sensor to locate on the vehicle is going to be this Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. And so there's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, you can use that to go and test these sensors. For example, here's a scan tool that has all the O2 sensors selected. Here's Bank 1 Sensor 1, Sensor 2, Bank 2 Sensor 1, and Bank 2 Sensor 2. Sensor 1 should be reading some oxygen content, so you'll see this up and down pattern like this as the voltage goes up and down, up and down. Sensor 2 shouldn't be reading any oxygen content, and so it's going to be flat like this. If this sensor 1 is flat for some reason, or if the voltage is really high or really low, then you know there's some kind of problem going on there with that sensor. There's some good videos on how you go about testing these O2 sensors using a scan tool. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But if you have a good scan tool, you can use it to go and test these sensors. Because the first thing that could cause this is a bad Bank 2 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. There's like an open, there's a short, a blown fuse, something along these lines. And there can be different types of O2 sensors. There could be two-wire O2 sensors, three-wire O2 sensors. These four-wire O2 sensors are fairly common. So if you do go to work on a vehicle that has this P2254 code, it's going to be a good idea to go get a diagram and schematics for that particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that they're going to have two parts to them. They're going to have an oxygen sensor part, but they also have heater elements built into them. And basically the oxygen sensor part, it can't get good readings until they get hot. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up and then the sensor to get hot before there could be good readings. And they built in these heater elements. And basically the heater elements just help it warm up really fast. These heater elements usually have 12 volts going to them. Again, be sure to get schematics for the vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But usually they have 12 volts going to them. Once the engine warms up, the computer can shut off the voltage going to those heater elements. But when the engine cold starts for like the first minute or so, there very likely will be 12 volts going to that heater element. These also very likely are going to be on a fuse and a relay. And then there's going to be two wires coming from the oxygen sensor part going back to the computer. So if you have a multimeter and you have the schematics for the vehicle, you can't go and check the wiring. Be sure there's no open, no short, anything like this. Also keep in mind it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses and possibly a bad relay. Again, you'll have to research your vehicle to know what's going on, which fuse it might be or which relay it might be. But for example, this is a Toyota right here where it's labeled AF heater. That's going to be the fuse going to that heater element. And then over here it's labeled AF heater. That's the relay going to that heater element. So it's a good idea to be sure there's no blown fuse or bad relays because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2254 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.